Hello, Internet. James Allen from Out of 8. And today I'm playing turn-based strategy game Ogre. This is an adaptation of the board game, which came out in the 70s and 80s, uh, where it has an Ogre, which is a super powerful tank, going up against more traditional uh, units. Game features a 10-mission campaign, uh, where usually you have the uh, basic units and you're going up against an Ogre or two. Uh, game recycles the same six maps uh, between the ten scenarios. It just kind of changes the units around a little bit. Um, and they're all, as the game is, it's kind of asymmetrical. Um, where, uh, you know, it gives you different numbers of units than the other side. And there's there's no difficulty settings. So whatever the developers have stated is the number of units you get is the number of units you get. Um, I really don't like that. Uh, because not everybody is as good or even as familiar with this game like me. Uh, so I found most of the scenarios to be pretty challenging and took a couple times to kind of get lucky on some dice rolls um, and make it beyond that. Uh, in addition to that, there's a tutorial. There's also a skirmish game, which is what I'm going to play. There's also a multiplayer where you can play skirmish games online. There's uh, custom scenarios where you can uh, subscribe to stuff submitted through uh, Steam Workshop, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then design your own scenarios also if you want to do that. Uh, so in the skirmish mode, there's six scenarios, which is not very much. Those are the official scenarios from the game. And as you can see on the right, they take all place all on the same map. There is one map for all the skirmish games, which is pretty ridiculous. Especially when you are given a map editor. I guess they assumed everybody would just make the maps uh, and share them online. There's only six anyway. Uh, but... No random maps, not even any more than one map. And you get six in the campaign mode. Uh, and none of the campaign ones can be played online anyway, so... Uh, you just get these. And you get different scenarios here. Uh, I'm just going to do the Mark III attack, which is the pretty kind of introductory one, I think. Uh, so we'll create the game. Uh, I'm going to actually play as the Defender, because I think that's a little bit more interesting uh, to show off in the video. All right, so what I have to do is put a command post. What I want to do is defend the command post uh, and not allow him to come in and leave the map. Uh, I get 20 infantry units, uh, which I can place anywhere. I can put up to 20 attack strength in the front. Uh, so I'm going to actually put some infantry up there, and then I will actually put the rest over here. I like doing groups of three infantry myself. Uh, so there's all of my infantry. And then I will do a couple howitzers by the base. And let's do heavy tanks up here. There you go. And that's my limit in that zone. I like the heavy tanks. They have a bigger attack. And then we'll just kind of support them here. One, zero. And that's it. And that's it. So that that's all my units. Against one enemy unit. But as you'll see, it's... They're extremely uh, robust. I'm not good at this game, uh, so I fully expect to lose. Uh, the AI is okay. Um, sometimes, it uh, usually plays well. Keeps its units at whatever range uh, that they can uh, attack at. Uh, but sometimes it just like stops moving, especially near the end of the game when it kind of knows it's lost, um, which is kind of weird. Well, let me see. No. So I'm going to move one infantry unit up there, and I will actually keep them out and uh, the interface I don't really like uh, you have to select the unit and then double click to move them and right click to unselect uh, it's also very tedious to make attacks which you'll see in a little bit you have these little pop-ups here for the different units but uh, you can see the stats and it's kind of hard to like select it and then see here so their range is basically three so I'm gonna kind of stay three away although I can only move two so let me just move up one. So we'll do that. Alright, I am going to move all these guys up though. There's no... if You, you can stack units. Uh, on, if you use the advanced rules. The advanced rules uh, basically allow stacking. And then also have uh, different ways of when units run over each other. Uh, that's basically all I want to do. Uh, but that's basically it, the only difference here. I actually like it without the stacking, uh, personally. 
So what you do uh, during the movement phase is you move them. Then there's a firing phase where you just select uh, the part of the tank. Now you can destroy different things. You can destroy the treads. You can go after the main gun. You can go after the secondary guns. You can go after the anti-personnel guns. Or you can go after the missiles. So I don't really know what I want to do. I'll try to get the treads, I think. So you have to click on it and then select the unit and then go down here to fire. So anytime I roll a 5 or above, it causes 2 damage. Uh, which I actually turn the thing off so it turns off animations. So it actually uh, happens faster, so I actually don't know what happened. But they lost 1 tread, so that's something uh, to each infantry unit. So that's actually I got really good rolls out of there. A lot of the game is luck. Again, I turned the things off. They moved and then they attacked both of my infantry units. So I actually might turn those back on. I was doing it just to um, speed up gameplay a little bit. So I'm going to move those guys right next to him. Uh, no. this is gonna, yeah, this is going to drive me nuts. So <laughs> let me skip that. That's the problem. It's either all or nothing in terms of animations. I don't need to see a move. What you really want is you want to try to attack every attack them all at the same time and try to surround them, uh, which I'm not really that good at doing. <laughs> so that's the problem. All right, so I can actually fire on him using this guy here. So I got a five. So I took out a tread. Got a five. Just took out another tread. And got a five. I'm getting really lucky with the rolls so far. Usually I don't, and that's all I can do. So his treads are down to 40. Uh, so he moved. He's going to fire on him. And take him out. Alright, so these guys have a range of 2. So I want to keep them 2 away from the thing. And the infantry only has a range of 1. So I'm actually going to keep those infantry right there. So that's 2... That's two. That's two. And then I'll move these other guys back. And I think that's all I want to do. Alright, so you can divide up your things. I'm going to try to get one of these treads out. So I need to get ten treads. So that's going to be three. Those will be four. Gosh, I'm going to have to do basically everything. Yeah, I'm going to have to do everything. Nope. Because that's what's going to happen. Nope. 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 Oh, got one. So, there's four. Nope. So, all that attacking and I took four treads down, which is not what I wanted. I wanted to take down ten. So they're just going to just obliterate me now. I had a lot of luck. Obviously there is some strategy here about how to arrange your units and stuff. Which I am not good at. As you can see. Ugh. Jesus. Well, that was terrible. Alright, let me back him up a spot. Put him over there. Two away, two away. <laughs> I have like no units left. What's the range on this? Eight. So they're not even ready yet. All right. Well, I need four of the four of the treads. Let me do the infantry. I mean, one out of three chance. So I really need to do twelve. Let's see if I get lucky. Nope. Yeah, no, there's one. I just want to slow him down a little bit. Okay, there's something. Save my sixes for my tank. Of course. Well, that was terrible. Alright, well let's see if I can try to at least attack a, uh, a weapon here. 
So if you roll a 5 or above, it's destroyed. And I did not. So there you go. The more attackers you have, the more um, damage you can cause with the lower roll. Oh, 6. Cool. Oh my gosh, I'm totally getting destroyed. And two away. Oh, no, he's disabled. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let, let, I'm going all in on these treads, man. Give me something, please. At least slow him down. All right. Now I get the rolls on the things that give one damage. Yay! Crush him. You rammed him. Oh, six, five, cool. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. So, that's it. I lost all my units. But I can fire on them with my uh, howitzers. So. I will. Three or above and I destroy his main gun. Which I didn't do. He's just trucking along. I don't even I don't even know. Hey, there you go. I mean he's gonna escape. Yeah. Could be imposed on at least 30 points of attack strength survive Ogre Destroyed. That ain't gonna happen. Uh well, I don't think I'm gonna take all that out, so let's just go let's just go treads. And I mean see if we can disable him. I doubt it. Cause I'm not gonna get the rest of his weapons out. Yeah, see that thing's gone anyway. Because he rolled a six. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> oh, yeah. With a three. There you go. That's Ogre. That's me completely getting dominated by the AI. Uh, well. I don't really like this game. <laughs> Part of it's because I'm terrible at it. And uh the ai is actually pretty good at it uh for the for about 90 percent of the time until it gets near the end of the game and it forgets what it wants to do um but i mean this is a very faithful adaptation of the board game uh the problem is it's a little bit too faithful the fact that it only has one skirmish map is pretty ridiculous in my opinion they could have done some random maps they could have done just some maps other than the six that they put in the campaign mode uh, for skirmishes that are kind of the way the game is supposed to be played, uh, instead of, you know, the scenarios in the campaign. You know, basically makes online games play the same every time because it's the same map. Uh, you know, now you can choose what the units are, but still, plays with the flexibility that a computer offers, there's no reason why you should just have one map. I mean, honestly. Um, there's no difficulty settings. So you can't adjust how many units that the... Uh, that you get or the other person gets. Now you can choose the different scenarios for the skirmish mode, which does adjust the number of units. But in the campaign, there's no difficulty. So it's as difficult, and you get as many units as they say, and there's no way you can adjust that up or down, which is pretty ridiculous also. Uh, the game does have a scenario editor, but again, the fact that they include one skirmish map and have no random maps is pretty ridiculous. Uh, the interface is not great. It's very tedious to move units. When you stack units, you can't move an entire stack at a time. Uh, you have to arduously select stacked units. Uh, so that's no good either. Uh, very slow unless you turn all the animations off, moving everything around. It does have different rule sets between the classic and advanced rules, where the advanced rules allow you to stack units and combine attacks between different units. And it has a different way of ramming units also. Um, you know, other than the uh, ogre, you have infantry, light tanks, uh, heavy tanks, and all that stuff. So not a huge selection of units. Basically, they just move different amounts, have different uh, weapon capabilities and stuff. 
you do have to worry about terrain on the maps that have terrain, which is not the skirmish map. Uh, I do like how it displays the the odds of being able to take out an, uh, a thing. And I like the idea of the game. I like the asymmetrical idea of the game. I just think that um, this is a very bare bones adaptation of it. If you like the board game ogre, I think you'll like the computer game ogre. The interface could be better and obviously more maps. But if you don't have a vested interest in ogre to begin with, I think that there's way more uh, turn-based strategy games that add a lot more depth and a lot more variety um, that to compete against this that really doesn't give this game uh, you know, any reason to play it over those other options. Uh, that's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.